Well, we thank you guys for being here. Again, Casey, especially under the circumstances. And uh, congratulations, and thank Michelle. Uh, so nice. And uh, are you a pa Patriots fan as well? I don't know. No interest. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the way we're going to do this is we want to go through both of your careers, um, and then obviously when they merged. And so um, we are going to alternate segments and then merge with Manchester. So to begin with, Michelle, you are up. Um, Want to ask you, you were born in Montana, moved to San Diego at, at nine, and by 13 or 14, you were already in this. You were doing, I saw Baywatch as an early credit, uh, um, Lassie, you know, some of this stuff. It really started young, so how did, it, how did it get going for you? What was that about? Well, just like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if there's anything, you know, I was saying to Casey, like, oh, gosh, there's a couple of things I find embarrassing, and I don't want you to judge me, so close your eyes. That means all you, too, close your <laughs> eyes. Um, but actually, there's something kind of, uh, it's been a long road, and I definitely um, feel now, I feel, yes, embarrassed, but also, like, proud to have come a, a really long way, because yeah. I did start, um, selling Tide and <laughs> pizza and uh, dolls and um, doing extra work. And, um, and I, I don't think I've ever been as excited about anything in my life as when I got the walk-on part on Baywatch. <laughs> like, n nothing really has topped that kind of excitement. <laughs> so, um, so, like, I embrace that girl. Like, I'm, you know, I I'm really lucky to be here. And then the, the breakout, I guess it would be fair to say, would be around... 16 or 17, Dawson's Creek, which many people remember fondly. Um, from 98 to 2003, 128 episodes. Uh, we all remember Jen. Um, nine months of the year, I guess it sounds like you would spend doing that. And then the other three, we, you know, we'll get into what you did there in a second. But just how did, how did that experience as a young person working really hard for a, a chunk of the year on something where you're playing the same character um, in the same universe. Uh, how did that shape you as an actor early on? You know, honestly, um, <clears throat> I was actually telling my daughter about this the other day. I was saying, you know, when I was on that show, there was a website called I Hate Jen. <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> they hated you? Well, I hate them. Yeah. And I said, well, it doesn't actually exist anymore because the show is over, but it was like really tough. It was really tough to be a teenager and to have like a forming sense of identity and to be enmeshed with this character that I was playing and to not really, um, to have my identity sort of growing around her identity and to have people sort of judge me based on that. It was really, it was, um, uh, it could like hurt my feelings at times. But I feel like, and I, I'm super grateful to the show for a lot of reasons. Like one, because it's like a, people have fond memories yeah. of it and like they grew up with it. Um, and it also just gave me so much practice. You know, 128 episodes, like that's a lot of on-camera time to kind of figure out what you're doing. <laughs> um, and to be able to like, I think I'm really good at hitting marks now. Yeah. Like I think because I hit so many of them and you consider you just like keep it in your periphery and you're sort of walking and you're not looking. Because in the beginning I was like just, tr tracing the mark and then just landing the mark and then looking up to say my lines. Um, and now I can like keep an eye on it while still talking to someone. Um, so for things like that, like there's just nothing like on the job right. training. 